In this video, we'll look at how to zoom and pan in your Illustrator document. It's a basic skill and yet so important to your day-to-day -day work in Adobe Illustrator. There are several different ways to do it, so I'll show you your options and you can decide which works best for you. The Zoom tool is here in the tool panel. And once you have the Zoom tool, you can just click to zoom in and to zoom out, hold down the Option or Alt key and click to zoom out. And you'll see how the cursor changes to a minus sign when you're holding the Option or Alt key. You can also zoom by clicking and dragging. So if I drag to the right, I'm zooming in. And if I drag to the left, I'm zooming out. And this is a feature called Animated Zoom, which is usually on by default. But if yours isn't turned on right now, in a minute, I'll show you how you can change that in preferences. Now that we've looked at the zoom tool, let's look at the keyboard shortcuts for zooming. To zoom in, use the shortcut Command or Control plus sign. And to zoom out, just change that to a minus sign, Command or Control minus. You'll find these commands in a couple of places. For one, when you're using the selection tool and you don't have anything selected, you can right click. And here you'll see zoom in and zoom out. Those commands are also located in the view menu. And here they are with their keyboard shortcuts. Now let's go back to the zoom tool and animated zoom. So as we saw before, when I click and drag to the right, I can zoom in very smoothly. And when I click and drag to the left, I'm zooming out. This is a feature that you can turn off and on in preferences. So we'll go up to the Illustrator menu. If you're on a PC, go to the Edit menu and go to Settings, or some people may see Preferences. At General, I'll just open up the main Preferences panel. And we can choose from the categories on the left here. Let's go to Performance, because Animated Zoom is a performance feature. And here it is. It takes a little extra processing power. So if you're having slower performance, you may want to turn animated zoom off. Let's just turn it off to see how this works. And I'll click OK. And now when I click and drag to the right, I'm creating a marquee and I'm zooming into that area. And when I click and drag to the left, I'm zooming away from that area. Now I'll go back and turn it on. So I'm going to Illustrator, Settings, and Performance. I'll check Animated Zoom, and then click OK. And now I'm back to that smooth animated zoom. Now we'll go back to the toolbar and look at the Hand Tool. It's right underneath the Zoom Tool. When you see this little triangle here, just click on it to get the menu of tools that are below the Zoom Tool. And here's the Hand Tool. The hand tool moves the position of what's showing in the window so I can pan around the document. And back in the tool panel, when you have a stack of tools like this, you can click on this little strip here at the edge to get a tear off panel of tools. And now they're in a handy place where it's easy to get them. So we have the zoom, the hand, and the rotate view tool, which we'll look at in a minute. When you hover over these tools, the tooltip tells you the keyboard shortcut. So for the Zoom tool, that's Z, and for the Hand tool, that's H. But I don't use these shortcuts because there are others that can be more convenient. For the Hand tool, use the space bar. So whenever you're working with another tool, so for example, if I'm using the Selection tool to select objects, and I want to switch to the Hand tool, I just hold down on the space bar, and then I can go about panning around the document. If I'm using the zoom tool, same thing. I can zoom in, then switch to the hand tool by holding down the space bar and get right to the area that I need to see. Then I release the space bar to go back to using the zoom tool. And you can see how fluid that is. So whenever you're using any tool here in Illustrator, just holding the space bar will switch you to the hand tool. There's another shortcut that makes this even more handy. So I have my selection tool currently selected, but this works when you have any other tool in Illustrator. You can use Command and Spacebar or Control and Spacebar to switch to the Zoom tool and then release Command or Control 
you have the space bar, you're holding onto the hand tool, then release that and you're back to your selection tool. So let's try this. Here I am selecting an object, then command or control space bar to zoom in, then releasing the command key or the control key to get just the space bar so I can pan to where I'm going and then release the space bar to get back to the selection tool. This one may take just a little bit of practice, but once you do it, it's incredibly useful just because of the fluidity that it gives you as you navigate around your work. And these same keys work in Photoshop, so a lot of people find this very useful. Now, if you're on a Mac, there's something else you need to know. Command spacebar is also the keyboard shortcut for Spotlight. So here's how you can turn that off. Go into your system settings and search for keyboard shortcuts. Once you're there, click on Spotlight, and then right here, just uncheck Show Spotlight Search. Then click Done, and you'll be able to use this shortcut. Now let's look at the Rotate View tool. This tool was released in more recent versions of Illustrator, and you can click and drag to rotate the view. Hold Shift to snap to regular increments as you rotate. And if you want to return to zero degrees, just double click on the tool. The menu at the bottom of the screen displays the current rotation. And you can choose from other angles here. Or go back to zero. Now I'm going to zoom in and pan a little bit just to get to a different position using those switching shortcuts I just showed you. And I want to show you how if you double click on the zoom tool, you get back to 100%. And we can also see the zoom percentage here in the document tab. If I double click on the hand tool, my current artboard fits the window. And if we look at the bottom of the screen, we can see the current zoom percentage there. And we also have a menu here where we can go all the way from 64,000% to 3.13% zoom or fit on screen. So in the beginning of the video, when I said there's more than one way to zoom and pan in Illustrator, I wasn't kidding. And just one last thing, I want us to look again at the view menu. This is also like the view menu in Photoshop and you'll find a lot of controls for how your document is displayed here. So you can rotate the view without using the rotate view tool from this menu. Of course, we have fit all the artboards in the window, fit just this one artboard in the window, zooming in and zooming out, and many other options, including smart guides. So to wrap up, here's a recap of what we've just learned. For zooming, we've learned to zoom by clicking with the zoom tool, zooming by dragging, and we've learned about animated zoom versus marquee zoom. We've zoomed with the shortcuts, command or control, plus or minus, and we've learned about switching from other tools. So we can use the spacebar for the hand tool and spacebar plus command or control for the zoom tool. And finally, we looked at the rotate view tool. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video and it's taught you a lot about zooming, panning, and getting around in Adobe Illustrator. My name is Laura Coyle. I teach Adobe Illustrator on YouTube and on my website at lauracoylecreative.com. Thank you for watching.